September 1st, 1974, Langingbird, Saskatchewan, Canada. For farmer Edwin Fur, a routine chore turns into one of the most frightening experiences of his life. Fur observed this object near the ground. He stopped and went over very close to it. And you could see it was metallic looking. It was flat on the bottom. It was domed on top. It was hovering uh, just a foot or so above the ground. And he's 15 feet in daylight away from an object. No sound. It's spinning, rotating at a very high rate. In the surface of this thing, he said it had a very old and used up appearance. And in it, he could see dark sort of grooves. At the base, he could see a sort of wide belt that went around the lower section. Shocked at what he encounters, Fur slowly retreats back to his tractor, hoping to escape from the object. As he climbs back on, his shock turns to terror when he realizes it's not just one UFO, but an entire fleet. And he could see there were four more, and they were sort of equidistant from each other in a semicircle around the high grass. All same type of objects, same configuration, same color, all rotating. The ground or the crop underneath the object was spun in a spiral. And the plants were rotated and knocked down underneath each one of these. After hovering in the field for a few minutes, the objects begin their ascent. The objects ascended silently, vertically, in a step formation. Object one, two, three, four, five. And as they ascended vertically, silently, he could see beneath each object two vent-like extensions out of which there came a six-foot-long plume of gray material. Shortly after, the objects disappear. After Fur's encounter, Constable Ronald Morier of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police receives word of the event and visits the Fur property. The physical evidence that he discovers puzzles the investigators. Here were five rings all swirled, compressed in the same direction, all counterclockwise. And the central area in each of the rings was unaffected. The grass was standing up normally. And their sizes ranged from 8 foot in diameter to 11 feet in diameter. And Moyer's conclusion, after a full and extensive investigation, impressed me considerably he said this really happened and whatever made these rings came out of the air and left the same way and that pretty well says it investigators have still not produced a single logical explanation 